There is a lady, greatly skilled, who wishes for a unique man, indicating her condition. Being restricted and tied down by the strong cords of revulsion, she dreams in probability falling in love, having affairs, living gambler's expectations with the risk of losing something, or by action of victory. Men are replicas and not real for the lady who requests more than a man's physical contact for the sake of his amusement or sensual recreation. All the men live upon screaming by licking the distinctive cream like chocolate with a smooth feeling persuading her by his coaxing. That which pulls her fibers apart. She knows positions, top, bottom, doggy, 69, she'll pick one, or she can tease him by contact, reaching down his pants, going slow, with a touch of skin, slippery. She longs for love between the sheets, where she fights her own resistance, as the wind flows in the window, when the reflection of eyes meet, begging to end uncertainties. She has heard all impudent talk, probing gently like drawing sex from the brief utterance of lust to the bright colors of longing where heated tongues meet in the mist. Men rested her in vital force, greedily drinking wines of lust, intoxicated by spirits next to clothes resting on the floor, with no hiding place for disgrace. He is a glistening body who entangles against her skin, where the bed is like a platform, as the performance commences, as the actor lowers himself. He kisses her like a stagehand, with manual dexterity, by hands that stroke fibers and string, entangled by brawny rhythm, to demanding thrust of passion. He strokes like the shape of an arch into the bony, structured hips in a mental state of pleasure, a religious experience, or one dominated by lust. He lives by the strength of his blows, leaving a high-pitched noise by greed in a state of forgetfulness while drawing moisture through his pores uttering like a piercing cry. Her body demands more than lust as she longs to hear her name growl from the back of his thirsty throat as he grasps, then releases her to relieve her of her control. Her huffs are a cry of mercy that taste his skin between her lips, when teeth assemble on her skin without releasing the control, leaving the screams of battle cries. Still she craves to be roughly crushed by the grave, violent weight of love that persists beyond a timepiece or the scuttle of a thank you 
or the scheme of a hurried run.